Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Project. Today I'm looking to build a swing set for the kids. And instead of going and buying the traditional one that you could buy at the store, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, piece it together myself, buying the end brackets, the middle brackets, the swings, um, hooks, and all that sort of thing myself. And then uh, get the wood from Home Depot as well. So uh, let's see everything that I got in order to put this together. All right, so, so far I, I ended up getting um, four of the four by fours, okay? And uh, as you see here, here's the additional uh, four by fours that I got. I already placed it in the, in the middle bracket. That's actually, it's gonna hold uh, two sets of swings here and another two sets of swings over here. And um, basically what I ended up doing was I got eight footers. So I got four by four by eight, and then I got four by six by eight. And what I'm waiting for still is to, for them to arrive is the, uh, the end pieces, brackets that actually come here so I can go ahead and make that A, uh, very similar to what I did here. So in advancement until some of the parts come in from Amazon, I ended up uh, adding the hinges. And what I did here, is that uh, basically the length here is about 88 inches long. I found the middle spot, which is 44. And then from there, I basically kind of eyeballed it and where it's going to be. Um, I don't have the exact measurements because I eyeballed it, but basically it shows that there are two hinges here, two hinges here, and I'm about to do the same thing on this end, okay? Um, you can see here that I did pre-drill the holes in order for me to go ahead and peel and place all the screws in. Uh, you definitely gonna wanna do that because you don't want the wood to actually crack or expand uh, incorrectly. And uh, so yeah, that sort of thing. And um, I did put this piece here across the A-beam. And the reason why is that it makes it a lot more sturdy uh, in, in order to you know have that much weight and all that. Uh, the other things that I got were, I also got these uh, ground anchors that basically uh, I'm going to put one next to each one of the posts in order for me to go ahead and put it into the ground. And the beautiful thing about these is that you can drill these in, um, which is the nice thing about it. So you basically can go ahead and, and drill these in all the way through and then attach it, right? Because as you see here, there's the threading here for you to add a hook to it. And then you can use that hook to attach it to the um, to each one of those posts. But I'll show you when I get to that journey. I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like. As you see here, this is basically what screws in here. After you're done drilling it in, you screw it in here and then you can attach this to the actual post itself to this four by four that's here. But uh, when I get to that part of the journey, I'll show you. Uh, so right now, I'm just still waiting for a few more pieces to come in, and then I'll show you the rest of it. All right, so I ended up getting the uh, end pieces here that I'm gonna go ahead and add. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, four by fours in here first and uh, drill the holes and then put in the screws. So let me go ahead and start doing that. All right, so um, the end pieces, for some reason, they were a little tighter than the middle piece I originally bought here. It was a different brand. Um, the reason why is because the other brand was going to take a month and a half to get, so I changed the brand to this one. And what I had to do was I had to shave some of the wood, and that's why you see all that shaving there. Um, so I shaved it. You can use a sander, you know what I mean, uh, to do it if you like. Uh, I did it with a chisel slowly to get it to where I wanted to. And then I uh, had to do the same thing on this end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the, the holes, the pre-drill of the holes. Pre-drill these and you're gonna have to do that for, every, for all the sides, for all the sides and all of these when you guys put in the two by fours, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna do this side as well now. Okay, so you make sure you add your washer 
to each one of these screws, okay? And you're gonna use an impact drill to put these in. Impact drill, pretty much. these which allows you to use any type of nut you want which is nice so let me do So we added the 4x4 in here and then when we stand it up we'll add the other 4x4 and then we'll do the, the drill as well. We'll add the, the screws. So make sure you add the two screws on this end, two screws on the other end. So just go ahead and watch. Guys, so this is what it's looking like right now, the entire playground. Okay, and what we're doing is we're putting these brackets here in the middle in order for uh, to make it more stable. Okay, and as you see here, um, these pieces I go ahead and I cut them off with my circular saw. Okay. Okay, it doesn't have, it don't have to be perfect, but it's just for that piece not to stick out. Okay? Yeah. All right, so this is pretty much what it's looking like right now. I got a swing here, kind of, I got a skateboard here, another swing. This is some of the old wood from the old playground that we took down. So the anchors are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place them later on once I move it a little bit more. Well, thanks for watching the Vera Projects. I um, hope you like the swing set. Uh, if you go ahead and wanna do it yourself, it's gonna run you about 350 bucks. Uh, it's not bad. So uh, yeah, I would suggest doing it yourself if you want to save some few bucks. I know a lot of them out there are using, you know, very small wood and not as sturdy, but if you want something nice and sturdy, get yourself these brackets. And, um, and yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hope to see you guys next time with another great video and hit that like button and let your friends know about it.